Hey, Fit Hivers. I've been asked multiple times about a sales process um, for new leads. The first thing you need to realize is, especially in today's market, the end user is being bombarded with all kinds of fitness recommendations, right? Every business, every um, online coach, every brick and mortar, every franchise, everybody's fighting for that same prospect. So one of the biggest things that you need to think about in sales statistics, right? Uh, I know sometimes as a fitness professional, you hate the sound of being a salesperson. Uh, well, you are, right? You're trying to sell your product or your service to that end user that is looking to purchase that product or service. Uh, so the, here's the biggest thing to think about. And I know this is kind of a, a crappy picture, so uh, it's not your screen. It is pretty blurry, right? 48% uh, of salespeople never follow up with a prospect. 25% of salespeople make a second contact and stop. 12% of salespeople only make three contacts and stop. Only 10% of salespeople make more than three contacts. Now, knowing that, think about how you're currently following up with them in terms of text, email, and phone call, phone call being sp very specific. Now think about this, only 2% of sales are made within the first contact, 3% of sales are made within the second contact, 5% of sales are made in the third contact, only 10% of sales are made in the fourth contact, and 80% of the sales are made in the fifth to 12th contact. Here's the important thing with that, only 10% of people uh, that are trying to sell something to somebody that's interested are doing 80% of the sales. So if you're not following up with these leads, there's no re reason to purchase them because they're less likely to come in the door or you're just wasting money and you're leaving it on the table. So make sure you're constantly following up with this. Now, how to use FitHive to actually do this, right? Um, I'm going to show you a couple of real world examples. So for example, uh, in FC Burn, every time a lead is uh, comes in, we add or tag them with two nurture sequences that are associated with two different tags, which you can set that up in the settings. We've got videos for that. Uh, but the first one is this new lead nurture sequence, which is 12 messages long that are daily messages. And then we add them to this new lead text campaign. So that way, as soon as they fill out that form, I automatically send them a text message and an email right out of the gate saying, hey, thanks for... Um, uh, filling, you know, giving us your information and your interest. If you did not book a call or a, an appointment, click here, right? Now that also will send an email to my membership director. And as soon as she gets that email within five to 10 minutes of it, unless she's in bed or the weekend or something like that. Uh, but the goal is within five to 10 minutes of getting that email, she clicks the little link, it pulls up their profile. She calls the phone number. So theoretically, as within five to 10 minutes of that person um, filling out that form, they've got a text message, an email, and a phone call from us. A lot of times they won't pick up the phone, so always leave a voicemail. That makes that, phone, that text message and that email real, right? As soon as they hear your voice, it becomes a real t person sending them a text message and a real person sending them that email. So they're more likely to text back, or at the very least, they'll go back and schedule that appointment. Now, in that particular case, I'm going to go to the demo account so I don't mess up our follow-up. But in that particular case, she will go on and she'll click on that person. She gives them a call. She will go to the follow-up section, put in what they did, what she just did. So left voicemail one. And then call two is next. And every three days, right, every three days, she's going to give this person a call again. So if this was Friday the 7th, I'm going to give them a call on the 10th. And she's going to hit save right then every day right the next day in the morning it's going to send them a text message saying the same thing hey if you didn't book here's here's the message it's also going to send them an email in the evening and then for the next 10 days it's going to send them a text and email and then every three days she's going to go in and she's going to say left voicemail two right and then call three is next. I'm going to do it three days later. Boom. It's going to keep sending them text and email nurture. Okay, so this comes back up. Cool. I'm going to left voicemail three and call four is next. Cool. And then on the fifth call, right, 
or excuse me, on the fourth call, what she's going to do is she's going to say left, left voicemail four, and there's not going to be any next follow-up steps because we're just going to set this so it logs that the result, and then we're going to remove them from lead status. Okay, so the key to it, text and email for at least 12 days, and you're calling them and leaving them at least four voicemails. You can do them a little bit more. We personally have it set where we will actually add them to a long-term nurture sequence um, where we use Alicia's content every single month uh, to send stuff out to them um, and just keep nurturing them to get them to come back in the door. So the biggest thing here is text and email every day, voicemail at least every third day, if you really need the leads and you don't have a lot of leads, I would call them every single day. Next thing, that's for when people initially come in. On a daily basis, you need to be logging in. So let's say you coach the 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. class. Before you go home, before you go wherever, or block out certain hours of the day where you sit in front of the computer and you just start at lead one or follow up one. And you're looking at it. Okay, yep. Yep. Oh, I need to do my call. I'm going to give them a call. Cool. So I left voicemail three and call four is next. I'm going to move them out. Boom. Perfect. Or I'm going to send them a text message uh, or see if the drip campaign's working. Yep. Nothing's there. Perfect. And then I'm going to go to the next person, do the same thing. And then every day you need this, these past due to be zero. They always need nothing due today and always do in the future. As long as you're going through and maximizing every one of these leads, it's worth buying new leads and maximizing as you go. Now, you can also put follow-ups for existing clients in here. You know, so this is an existing client that, um, you know, uh, has an injury or is having a bad day or a bad week and or they, you know, God forbid, they got a divorce on the 17th, so you're going to, Hey, uh, see how they are doing. Perfect. Cool. And now when I'm going through the follow-up, it's not only follow-ups for existing clients uh, or prospects, but it's also existing clients to really maximize what we're doing. Uh, guys, if you have any questions on this, um, let me know. But definitely use this follow-up section to follow up with all your leads, our existing clients. Um, I know one person that wants to give them a call, an existing client, a call at day 30, day 60, day 90. That'd be the same thing here, right? Rob, let's say Rob is an existing client, right? And um, I just did my 30-day follow-up, 30-day follow-up. Um, and he was loving the program. Perfect. And this is going to be 90 day follow up, right? And then I'm just going to move that out. Uh, let's see here, March, April, May. And we're just going to follow up sometime. I don't want to follow up on a Saturday, so I'm going to follow up on a Friday and hit set. And then boom, I've got all my manual follow ups as well. Or let's say instead of uh, 90 day follow up, it's going to be 98 uh, or day 90 uh, free t-shirt uh, in class right and then all of a sudden when that comes up it's like oh man i need to order him a free shirt or let my coach know hey he gets a free t-shirt in class whatever it looks like for you um in that new client journey if there's any manual follow-ups for it uh, again guys uh, track this however you like um, you can use tags to for your prospecting uh, but the biggest thing here is activity, 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 and always cleaning this out every single day. Um, and don't make it an afterthought. Really schedule or block out just like it's a personal training appointment to go through all of these leads and follow-ups. Thanks, guys.